Welcome to the tutorial of Apache Cassandra. I am Hardik Chawla, pursuing BTEC from NIT Kurukshetra. So, the, in this video, we will see use the various commands in, of Cassandra. So, for which, first of all, we need to open the terminal in Ubuntu. Then, we will use command cqlsh to run the SQL. Then first of all, we will create a key space named something like data. So create key space data and uh, with replication as so I will mention the class over here. So we will mention the class as network topology strategy and then we will mention the data center as one press enter it says the key space data is already exists so I will change the name to something like data2 so as you can see the key space is successfully created we will use that key space from now use data2 then we will create a table inside it create table I will set the table name as student underscore data and uh, we have to mention the names of the all the columns and the type of data they are going to store so first of all I will write role which will be an integer and it will also be the primary key for our table then the next one will be name which will be as text press enter so the table is successfully created we will insert data into it now so insert into student underscore data and uh, write the columns name like role comma name and then we will mention the values so for example I am mentioning these values So now we will see whether it is successfully inserted or not by using command select star from student data. So as we can see the, the data has been successfully inserted into the table named student underscore data. So now we will move on to the example 3.6 of book which has the data of uh, various cho uh, chocolate sales of various days like we have uh, 999 rows inside our data I have this data as a CSV file with 999 ACVM IDs so I will try to insert them first of all I will create a new table for it by using command create table sales underscore data and we have to specify these column names so it will be acvm underscore id which will be an integer as well as it will be the primary key of our table then the next one is kitkat and again it will be storing data of type int the next one will be milk again it will be the integer then fruit and nuts which will also be in teaser then the next one is n 
O U G A T nougat. It is an integer. Then the last one is Oreo, which is also the integer. I will just cross check these names from here. Yeah, so we have Kit Kat milk, fruit and nuts, nougat and Oreo. I will press enter. So the table is successfully created. Now I will copy the data from the CSV file into this table by using command copy and I will mention the table's name sales underscore data. We, we also need to uh, mention the column names. As you can see all these commands which commands which we are using are just similar to the commands which we use in SQL which is the structured query language so all these commands are um, mostly similar to those then the we will specify the column name acvm underscore id then kitkat milk fruit and nuts the next one is nougat and the last one is oreo so no i will not press enter this we also need to specify the from where we are copying this data so i will specify the path of the example csv file so download slash example 3.6 dot csv and we will specify with header as true press enter so as we can see then all the 999 rows have been processed successfully uh, we will also cross check the data using command select star from sales underscore data press enter so we can see the data press enter to see more and more data and it also shows that all the 999 rows have been shown above here so it shows that the our data was successfully inserted and all these were the commands which we use in Cassandra. Thank you.